So here comes the Guard of Honor, Linfield. Are the champions. And what will be a very nice touch, Jeff Spears of Crusaders bows out after 20 magnificent years service to Irish League football today. He joins up with the Crusaders coaching staff this summer. And high up that he finishes up here. Good play now from O'Kane. O'Kane burst forward for Linfield. It needs something like this to happen. Put some life into this game. Here's Garrett. Shows good footwork. Still Stephen Garrett. Jeff Spears jumps in. There's a free header. That's off the crossbar. Great play between O'Kane and Garrett. And it was Aidan O'Kane who got the header in in the end. Neil Armstrong didn't get near it. Curlis and Morrow and Linfield can break here with Tim Mouncey. Mouncey is Dick to the left of him. Dick could be in on goal here. And he's completely fluffed his shot. O'Kane now. Back to Ferguson. Ferguson, low one into the box. has passed everyone. Both Garrett and Adam Dick nearly get on the end of it. Both sides struggling to get into any sort of rhythm. Can Linfield change that? Can he? No, Kane change that, isn't it? The cross goes. It bounces in front of everyone except for Dick. It'll fall here for Jim Irvin on the strike. And off the post. Well, it's a celebration day. And Crusaders haven't looked like upsetting the party. And Jim Irvin just with a, a lovely strike of the right foot. And that's the opening goal. Linfield lead by a goal to nil. Now Dick plays in O'Kane okay here. O'Kane okay up against Spears and he gets past Spears. This is a chance for Linfield. It's two on two. Aidan O'Kane will keep going. Still Aidan O'Kane. Lovely chip off the crossbar. The second time he's hit the woodwork this afternoon. It deserved a goal. He just flighted it over Armstrong. Anto Crawford is central of Morrow. So too the run of Tumulty. Still Chris Morrow. Into the penalty area he goes. There's a chance for Larmer. Great save by Shannon. Garrett takes on Jeff Spears. Still he goes. Look at the confidence. And Stewart coming in here. Plays it back in. Square for Garrett. Great save. Magnificent move from Linfield. And Stephen Garrett. Lively all afternoon. Could have wrapped this game up. Wonderful save. So let's go live to Windsor Park. Linfield at Carnegie Premier Division champions. And to talk us through the presentation, Paul Gilmore. Paul. Thanks, Mark. Yes, Linfield are uh, just making their way, the players just making their way through a uh, guard of honour to the stage to collect the Gibson Cup for the 47th time in their history. David Jeffrey called it the weekend of celebration. They may have swept all before them last season, but in some ways this achievement is even better. They just keep on going. They've already seen off the early season threat of Glentoran. They've coped with the determination and hunger of Cliftonville. They are truly worthy champions and now they are being rewarded for it. They made plenty of changes today ahead of the Cork City Satanta Cup match on Monday night and, of course, the Irish Cup final. Many of the players you see coming onto this stage didn't even feature today. In fact, six players from the Linfield Rangers side that beat Crusaders Youth 5-1 at Taylor's Avenue a couple of weeks ago played. And there's Glenn Ferguson making his way onto the stage as well. Five league titles for Glenn Ferguson in his career. And a, a 19th domestic double for Linfield. It really is a superb achievement. It will be a 19th domestic double, uh, sorry, if they beat uh, Dungannon next month. Up goes the injured Chris Lindsay. He receives his medal, the former Portadown defender. And Paul McAreevy too, of course, he uh, last appeared at Windsor Park when he walked, did the walk of shame. He put the ball into the net against Glenavon with his hand. He's collecting his medal too. Mark Dixon has been in Tremendous form this season. What an inspired signing by David Jeffrey. And now Peter Thompson as well, making his way towards the stage. They can get the celebration started in just a moment. Greg Shannon played today, of course, kept a clean sheet against Crusaders. It was only his fourth appearance all season, but he has been very reliable when called upon. And the players just continue to come. You can see uh, in the line as well, Connor Downey. And Jimmy Mulgrew makes his way. So too Stephen Garrett. He played excellently today. He's played the whole game, Stephen Garrett. And, uh, you know, he gives uh, David Jeffrey another option in that final third. And looked very lively up against Jeff Spears, who, of course, as well, bowed out of Irish League football after 20 years' great service. 
including 11 seasons at Windsor Park. So he knows what days like this is all about, like these are all about. Now Connor Downey is the last of the Linfield players, apart from Noel Bailey, who waits in front of the away dugout, and of course, all the coaching staff. And there's the trophy. On the day of celebration, it's turning out to be. All the coaching staff go through the Guard of Honour now as well. Brian McLaughlin, the assistant manager. His son, of course, Ryan McLaughlin. He came on a sub today against Crusaders. He's one of those Linfield Rangers players. Not impressed so much. Now we wait just for Bailey. And the manager, David Jeffrey. And as you can hear from the roar, it is Jeffrey waving the Linfield flag. What an achievement for Mr. Jeffrey. That hunger, that drive, and it just keeps spurring Linfield on. And he'll enjoy this day as much as anyone. And now the moment has arrived. No Billy makes his way towards the stage. Didn't quite get his 900th appearance today. And probably will make that against uh, Cork City. But 899 appearances. Some going for the veteran Linfield defender. And now he will pick up the Gibson Cup for the 47th time in Linfield's history. He has the trophy in his hands, holds it aloft. Linfield are champions.